I know you're hiding something from me. I can tell. No, I'm not. Don't make me act harshly, Miss Baxter, because you know I can. You must do as you think best, Mr. Barry. Just as I must. I have to thank you, Mr. Mosley. Oh, why is that? There are things in my past that had made me afraid, but I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not sure what will happen, but whatever it is, it's better than being afraid. You've made me strong, Mr. Mosley. Your strength has made me strong. My what? What time do you go tomorrow? Train leaves at 10. I reckon Spain and Italy may be pretty hot, so when you see me again... No. No. I won't be coming to America. Don't make a decision I'm not to... coming. But thank you. And please thank Mr Levinson. You know why I asked you? I think I do, yes. I didn't say because I thought it might frighten you off. But we could make a go of it. Daisy? I suspect we want different things, Mr Slade. But it means that much to me to hear you say it. Thank you. Could I try? Try what? To cook for Mr Levinson. I know all the dishes Daisy makes, I promise. Yes, but it would have worked with Daisy in New York. But if Mr Levinson likes her style of cooking... Please. Give me a trial. I'll save up and pay my own way out if I have to. Let her come. You've told him you've got an English cook and he won't know the difference. OK. I'll cable when I get back to New York and you won't have to pay for your ticket. <sighs> but I warn you, he can be quite picky. Don't worry. This is my chance. I swear I won't let you down. That were kind of you, Daisy. Why shouldn't she go to America if it's what she wants? You're not upset, then, by Mr Slade making advances? Upset? Mrs Patmore, if you knew what it feels like to have a young man keen to court me, <laughs> I'd kiss him if it won't give him the wrong idea. <laughs> upset? I'm that chuffed. It'll take me through to next summer. Did I ever tell you how glad they were to get that coat for the Russian refugees? Poor souls. I just wish you'd let me go through the pockets first, that's all. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do to make up for it? Hmm. Let me think. You could always buy me a penny leg. <laughs> But if I get my trousers wet... If you get them wet, we'll dry them. Suppose I fall over. Suppose a bomb goes off. Suppose we're hit by a falling star. You can hold my hand. Then we'll both go in together. I think I will hold your hand. It'll make me feel a bit steadier. You can always hold my hand if you need to feel steady. I don't know how, but... You managed to make that sound a little risque. <laughs> and if I did? We're getting on, Mr Carson, you and I. We can afford to live a little. <laughs>